Hey guys, it is me, Kisame Unlimited, and today I'm here to tackle a rant video for you guys. The rant video that I'm going to be tackling is I'm going to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh card prices and how they are so obnoxious and bullshit. But you see, for me personally, I am a casual base player. Also, don't forget to like the video, 800 likes is the gold. The one thing with me when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh card prices is that you see, for me, as a casual base player, it's like I'm put in one of two situations. It's either you buy the high pricey cards that you want, which are mostly, you know, obviously new techs, and the new techs that you encounter, they're like either really really busted and you're like well i kind of have to have them or else my deck's going to be super super slow like you know i want to say like pot of desires or me getting solemn strike i'm playing like totally awesome and dynamis i'm playing solemn strike and everything and i can everyone nowadays is playing pot of desires and everything you know cost a pretty penny yeah here's 50 dollars for pot of desires he has like 30 to 20 dollars for strike he has like 30 dollars for totally awesome it's like for me it's like and most of the time when you deal with all these pricey cuts that you really really want everything is not like oh i just play one copy so you have to like shell out three copies and for me i'm the type of person where as well for me playing all the decks that i currently play i don't really like to let's just say have like let's just say if i if i played three strikes in one deck and two strikes in another deck i'm not the type of person that wants to get three strikes and go back and forth with deck to deck i kind of want to just be like well i have three strikes in here and I have two strikes in there so I would need like five strikes and I don't want to shell out like over a hundred dollars for five strikes a lot of people can be like well then why don't you just switch them around I don't know I like having all my decks like complete that but you see for me that's why I really like reprints because reprints make so my life so much easier but I feel like they take forever to do anything they take forever to make the reprints they take forever for the ban list they take forever for everything and I know that that's where it really goes down to my roots because I feel like for me a good example is I think I would be more impulsive to build stuff and want to make decks if I didn't have to play budget because for me it's like I don't want to play like you know these budget crappy cards when I could be playing like my deck at its full power and having fun with my friends but I can't really do that because what's the point you know in you know shelling out like I want to say two three hundred dollars just to play a budget deck when I could just like why don't I just play the real busted busted shit but then I have to pay an extra five hundred dollars it's like it's like the price tag is like so obnoxious the only good quality is that the ban lists haven't been coming around so you don't have to worry about your shit being nerfed knowing me i'd be the type of person that i would invest and then then the ban list would come swooping around saying oh sorry bing 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 and i'm like really really I'm not a, you know, a saver. I'm a spender. But you see, for me, it's like, I don't mind shelling out money here, money there. But the thing I don't like about Yu-Gi-Oh! is that Yu-Gi-Oh! has always been extremely unbalanced when it comes to card prices. And one minute, something you have could be like $2, then it could end up being $40, and something that you have that's $40, $50 could end up being $3. And that's the world of Yu-Gi-Oh! And you have to take the good with the bad. But you see, for me, it's just like, I like so many decks, and I would love to have so many decks completed like a good example the only deck i have in real life is constellers and the only thing i refuse to buy for constellers is the solemn strikes because i don't because i need three and i don't want to shell close to 90 to 100 dollars and i really wanted to make dynamis and i'm like oh great the dynamis are all budget nobody really plays them and they're all not high rarity so i was like oh this is great and then i said oh yeah i need totally awesome and i need like cyber dragon infinity well yeah, cyber dragon infinity ain't that much but i'm like i need totally awesome i need pot of desires and then i said i need strike well that's off the bat like oh close to two three hundred dollars so can't do that so you can't play that deck in real life and i'm like <sighs> well, one of these cards getting reprinted. I kept checking how much Strike was, and I'm like, Strike, I think, got reprinted once, and Strike's still, like, like at least plus 25. And I'm like, for me, it's overall my own issues with Yu-Gi-Oh! prices, because it's like... I just wish it was cheaper. I just wish, and even if it wasn't cheaper, I wish, you know, the cards that I really liked ended up not being such a high rarity. I think that that's what it comes down to, what I really wish. But other than that, I kind of, if I had to cross my fingers and hope for anything in Yu-Gi-Oh!, I think the thing I would hope is that, that they would just make reprints more often. Because if they made reprints more often, I'd be like, oh, you know, it'd make the life easier for casual players. Because for me, as a casual player, I would love to play more decks and play stuff in in real life if i could physically own the cards without having to shell out three hundred dollars it just it's something that you see for me it's like I, that's why you see you know in the background you know you always see my funko pop wall and i know a lot of people ask me to document it maybe one day but oh look pinocchio he's new he's a new addition but you see for me it's like i i love collecting stuff like this because you know the way i look at it is here see this this is a ten dollar pop 
It's simple. It will always be a $10 pop, and it's a nice addition to the wall. And then I put it up there. The end. You see, for me, it's just there's something about me, like, you know, solid price, the end. But you see, Yu-Gi-Oh! is so imbalanced that it's, like, fucked me internally. And I'm like, I don't want to, like, go in that road anymore. But you see, for me, it's like, I still love Yu-Gi-Oh! I love playing Yu-Gi-Oh! online, but I would love to get back into playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in real life. And I feel like it's only because I don't play in real life, because everything's so fucking expensive and so obnoxious. And because everything's so obnoxious, who really wants to go out shelling out the money here and there? When, for me, it's... For me, I guess I don't make so much money where... I, it comes fluent to me where I could just blow it in the wind. But because of that, I just, I don't, I don't know. It's like maybe to other people, like, you know, the 50, 30, $40, like for a card isn't like a big deal. I mean, people are going to look at me like, aren't you the same guy with all those prize cards? You know, why are you bitching and complaining? I mean, for me, I feel like you, yo, know, prize cards are like these. I feel like the set prices, they'll always be that price and that's fine. But I don't know, just basic Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't know, because it's like, I love playing with people and I would love to duel people in real life and just actually use my physical cards because it makes me so happy to do that. I just wish it was cheaper. And I know that this is more of a personal dilemma with myself, but I don't know. I just feel like I remembered back in the day playing in real life, but I remembered back in the day, I mean, well, back in the day I played mishmash garbage, so, I mean, it's not like I actually played, you know, competitively back then. But, I mean, now I have a brain and I know exactly what's good, so I know how to win, but I kind of just wish that it was cheaper. It was cheaper to play more awesome, cool text that Konami's been leaking and not have it break my wallet to do it. But that's just my opinion. If you agree with me, leave it in the comment section below, and I will like your comment. I always read the comments. And other than that, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video about me complaining. I don't even know what the hell my point was. <laughs> like, my point was just going on, turning on the camera, and complaining about money. <laughs> so I hope that I had some kind of good focus and direction. So I hope that you guys all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it if you haven't already, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So I hope you guys all have a great day and a better tomorrow.